we reveal our woman of the year. Landon Barker talks break up with Charlie D'Amelio, plus Brittany and in hype and updates. We get ready with Madison Beer, break down Usher's many achievements, and run down the TikTok Billboard Top 50. It's Thirsty Thursday, I'm Tetris Kelly for Billboard News, and it's February 8th. Before you get yourself hydrated, we've got some major news, starting with a Billboard Women in Music announcement. Your Woman of the Year is here, plus we have a ton of performers set to hit the stage. Carol G is 2024's Woman of the Year. She'll be honored on March 6th alongside other amazing women like Icon of the Year Kali Minogue and hitmaker Ice Spice. Plus, we have a ton of performances from Carol G and your other honorees, Charlie XCX and New Jeans. I'm super shy, super shy, but wait a minute while I'm making my, making my Tim's, Luisa Sanza, and Young Miko. Shooting stars on my teeth, Nikes on my feet, make my cipher complete. Maren Morris and Victoria Monet. I put that on my mama, on my hood, I look fly, I look good. It's all going down at the YouTube Theater here in LA on March 6th. Tickets are still available or you can catch it the next day at billboardwomeninmusic.com. There's so much to talk about, so let's jump into some stories. Landon Barker is single and he let us know. Britney Spears and Ben Affleck lock lips and in hyping is back. Here's three quick stories you should know today. Landon Barker and Charlie D'Amelio call it quits. He posted on IG, I would like to let you guys know that Charlie and I are no longer together. We broke up to focus on ourselves. He teased the news to me last week at Spotify. I'm releasing a new single in like the next two months. Okay, what can we tease about it? What's the name of the song? It's called Over You. Oh, okay, okay. Is that, is that hinting at some real life stuff there? You never know, you have to wait and see. Wish them the best, but now I'm thirsty for this song. And my girl Britney shocked users when she admitted she made out with Jennifer Lopez's husband in the 90s, posting this throwback on Instagram saying, did I fail to mention I made out with Ben that night? Honestly forgot, damn, that's crazy. What's even crazier are fans saying this is when she was dating JT and Justin wrote JLo's new song, The Drama. And in some exciting news, I get to see my friends in Hypen again. They just announced a string of shows in Korea and a trip back to the U.S. for Anaheim, Chicago, New York, and more, kicking off February 24th. And it's Jungwon's birthday. Happy B-Day, King. Can't wait to see you guys soon. The Grammys may have been on Sunday, and I still may not be fully recovered, but let's look at how Madison Beer turned out that show-stopping red carpet look. Hello, Billboard. It's Madison Beer. The Grammys are about to start, so come in with me and get ready. I definitely did not set my expectations high because I shouldn't feel a moment of disappointment today. This is like an amazing achievement that I'm even going, let alone nominated. It's ridiculous. Grammy nominated Madison Beer. Oh my God. I was nominated for Best Immersive Album, which um, is a really cool category because it's sort of like the way you mix the music and it's this really immersive sound and experience. And I wanted people to feel like they were sort of being like transported away. I wanted you to be able to listen to the whole album and feel, yeah, I don't know, like maybe you were being taken somewhere else. So yeah, it was obviously an honor to be nominated for that. I'm honestly the worst when it comes to preparation for things. Like I didn't shave my legs last night because I was like, yes, I'm wearing a long dress, I don't have to. Things like that, I just like don't, I don't wanna say care enough because that sounds wrong. I do care, but I don't, I don't care enough at the same time. And I'm not really good at these types of things. I feel a lot of imposter syndrome when I'm like amongst these people and I'm at these places. I just, I don't know, I still feel like, what am I doing here? The dress I'm wearing today is custom Marmar Helene and I'm very excited. I think we had probably four or five contenders and then I saw this dress and I was like, I think that's it. And I just felt like a princess in it. And that was my whole thing. I was like, I wanna feel like an extravagant princess at the Grammys. Chris and I have been arguing about this because you cannot see my feet. So I'm like, I'm not wearing some uncomfortable, crazy shoe. They're not uncomfortable. Look at it. Beautiful options. 
it's just they're unnecessarily high for who to put me through agony for what <laughs> i don't get it like there's just no reason thank you um so we're probably gonna have a, a discussion about that Stuart weitzman did give us a beautiful pair of high heels for the full video, head to Billboard.com. It's chart time while Megan Thee Stallion slithered her way to number one on the Hot 100. Let's see who's on top of the TikTok Billboard Top 50. Flo Millie continues her reign while a batch of new bobs break into the top 10. Flo Millie spends her fourth week at number one on the TikTok Billboard Top 50 for the chart posting February 8th. I said, better late, late enough, better late enough. Rich Amari's One Call jumps from 17 to 2, even more impressive because the track doesn't have a specific trend giving it a boost. Cat like Janice's Dance You Out of My Head debuts at number 5. Many users gravitated to her personal story as a mother with cancer in hospice. She dedicated her final song to her seven-year-old son. Another pair of top 10 debuts include Benson Boone's Beautiful Things at number six and Boss Man D-Lo's Get In With Me at number 10. Every Thursday, Billboard will bring you the verified list of the hottest songs on TikTok by monitoring music discovery and engagement on the platform in the United States. To find the TikTok Billboard Top 50 each week, users can simply go to any sound detail page and tap the top right button to access the charts page. Before I let you go, everyone is so excited for the Super Bowl halftime show. What songs can we expect from Usher? Well, he's got a lot to choose from. Nobody does it like Usher. Throughout his 30-year career, Usher has danced his way onto the big stage at the Super Bowl halftime show. But it's his chart success that really showcases his amazing career. This is Billboard Explains, Usher's lasting mark on the charts. Usher knows his way around the Hot 100. In fact, he has nine number one hits on the chart, tied with Elton John and Paul McCartney for the fourth most among solo male artists, behind Drake, Michael Jackson, and Stevie Wonder. He has 18 top 10 hits, and his 2004 smash, Yeah, featuring Lil Jon and Ludacris, topped the Hot 100 for 12 weeks and was named the Hot 100's second biggest hit of the decade. Usher replaced himself at number one on the Hot 100 twice in 2004. Yeah gave way to Burn in May, while Burn later moved aside for Confessions Part 2 in July. Also in 2004, Usher set a record of 28 weeks at number one that year, which would last for 14 years until Drake took the record in 2018. He has four number one albums on the Billboard 200, including Confessions, which sold over one million copies in its first week. I can't figure it out why I'm so and he's had the third most weeks at number one by any artist on the Hot R&B and Hip Hop Songs chart, and the second most number one hits on the R&B Hip Hop Airplay chart. We can't wait to watch Usher sing his Billboard hits at this year's Super Bowl. That's it for today. Come back tomorrow for your Friday music guide and our interview with Arthur Hanlon. I'm Tetris Kelly, and this is Billboard News.